Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I've done a video of this look. Now, it's a long ass one, and I'm really sorry, but obviously, I have a lot to say. And just skip through bits if you want. <laughs> this look coming right up. Okay, so. My hair's a little bit wet, but while that's drying, let's have some fun with some makeup. So, um, I recently got a couple of new color palettes, so I'll show you. The Bum Morphe, um, I'm very addicted to their stuff. Okay, so this is the first palette. If it would work. Okay, so it's all your um, neutral colors um, and tones and blacks and whites and browns. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's probably like my favorite, like out of everything, because it's just all my go to colors that I just love for a natural look. So we'll experiment with that one at some point. Not today though. Hold on. Okay. And then the second one I got. This one's so magical. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this. Look at that colour. Oh my goodness. We're playing with this one today. Yes, we are. So this one is the Colour Burst 35B palette. Just for anyone. that wants to go online and pick one up I got them on there was like a sale that they were having so I got them a little bit cheaper than what they usually are but they're around $70 Australian um, at the Morphe store online anyway we're playing this one today Ooh, so exciting but anyway um, let me just put this down so I recently discovered something quite fun that actually works really really well these eyeshadows um and their other palette that I use they are so pigmented they are like beautiful I absolutely love them but I really really like it to stay and like the color to just pop all the time so I recently found in Kmart um yes by BYS if it focuses oh there you go so it's a glitter fix primer. So I don't use a lot of like actual glitter glitter unless I'm doing like um, fun fantasy looks or whatever. Um, but this stuff, amazing. Like it just, you'll see. So anyway, um, I'll prime my eyes. Now I have a little mirror here. So just so you know. Flip it around so I can see my eyeballs. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so actually, I might do it here. Yeah, look. So you only need like the tiniest, tiniest bit. And as you should all know by now, I love doing my eyes first. That way, later. <sighs> okay, that noise is slightly annoying, but it's my um, window in my ceiling. It's like a skylight roof, so um, a blind comes down and opens, and also the roof opens, so you can get breeze in. But it has a rain sensor, so anytime it like even just like a couple of drops, the rain sensor goes off and it shuts. Highly annoying. It's almost closed. Okay, so oh, I don't know what color to use. I'm thinking I might go. Oh, it is actually raining. I might go in like this section because I love pinks. I love pink in general. So my favorite like eyeshadow brush is actually this one. So it's by Models Own. It's actually for was meant for eyebrows, I'm pretty sure. But I love the fact that it's tiny, tinier, easier to control and stuff. I just recently cleaned them. Um, I have a blister. So, um, uh, last week, 
yeah, last weekend we held uh, my sister's baby shower and I was cutting up carrot and celery for it and I got a blister from cutting up vegetables. See, they're not healthy for you. Everyone's lying. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ooh, let me tell you, oh, let me tell you while I'm doing this about my baby sister, um, her baby shower. So, um, so my baby sister, she is, her name is Jess. Um, her and her partner, um, his name is Will, they are having a baby. Um, and they revealed at the baby shower that it was a baby boy. Um, so I'm having a nephew. Um, I am like so excited for them, you know, like that is so cool, um, to like be bringing life into this world and I am pretty damn excited to be an auntie. I'm going to spoil him so much. Um, yeah, so anyway, so, um, me and my other sister, uh, Mel threw them a baby shower and, um, so we had his side of the family, our side of the family, and all that kind of stuff. And it was um, mixed, so uh, male and female. Um, so yeah, oh, let me see if I can attach like a picture or something towards the end of the video of the setup. It was so magical. It was so beautiful. Uh, my sister. She loves like decorations and balloons and stuff and she made this like magical balloon arch for like the um, desserts and stuff like the cakes and um, it like I, I honestly think it turned out so well and it was such a beautiful day and everybody got given succulents, little plants to take home as a thank you for coming um, and everyone loved it. And it was really nice. Like, it was so nice. It was such a lovely day. Um, I would like to think that my sister and her partner had a really good day. They seemed happy anyway. They got all these beautiful presents for Bob, which is cool. Um, he's due in, like, December, like, the first couple of weeks of December. But with any luck, and for the sake of my poor sister... Um, he comes a little bit earlier because she is ready to have him. So ready to have him. Um, which is understandable. <laughs> because, yeah, she hasn't had the easiest pregnancy, the poor thing. I feel bad for her. Like, she's had, like, 24-7 morning sickness. She's had, like, she's had to go in hospital. She's had to have, um... Like the silver chain come out and like give her a drip and stuff and like and then she's ended up with a herniated umbilical cord so like she has to wear this belly band and stockings and over here we're about to head into summer so it's gonna be like really hot so the poor thing has to wear this and she's gonna be so hot like it's ridiculous anyway um what else what else is going on in my life that i can tell you about <gasps> I do know. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. This. So, I am officially on the list. I'll tell you while I'm doing this. So you can see it all day. I am officially on the list to have spinal surgery. Yay! So, it is a very scary concept because it's not gonna tickle. That's for sure. Like at all. Like it's going to be very painful. <sighs> But it'll be, it'll be worth it because I will hopefully be able to get off most of the medications I'm on. I will be able to like move better, be free better, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like not feel like, you know, like some days I wake up and I can barely move and it's just, to put it bluntly, to put it bluntly, my friends, to put it bluntly, it sucks. So yeah, um, I am on the list officially, which is pretty cool. So uh, basically between now and a year, 
they give, that's the timeline they give you um, for when you'll have it because unfortunately I am not rich. <laughs> I'm not rich and I need to go on the public waiting list because spinal surgery is like something like three to four grand um, if you go private and yeah I don't have the money for that kind of health cover so I'm going public but it's actually probably one of the best places to actually have surgery it's um it's called Royal Perth Hospital um and yes it's got a bad rap occasionally for its emergency department but that's just because of the people that end up in there um but they have some of the world most world-renowned surgeons they have um some of the most amazing heart specialists um which my dad went to um because of you know the, his heart attack and stuff so um that's cool like you know they are actually really really nice people up there um so yeah um it's just a waiting game just a waiting game basically which is okay by me you know um but i have to exercise um so today i went for a walk i've done just over eight thousand steps or so far i've been for a walk i need to um learn how to activate my core because i'm going to be lifting with my stomach once surgery is done um because i'm not going to be able to bend properly with my back because they fuse three parts of my spine and whack a bunch of screws in it yeah gonna be fun at 31 having to have that done anyway um so far it's kind of cute actually i like it actually blending it to be like quite soft rather than like bam in your face so see that this i've used um this one this one this one this one and this one just for reference um so yeah sometimes it can take um a lot of different colors to get what you're trying to achieve okay so i'm happy with my eyeshadow so i'm going to close that up Move that over there. Over there. Uh, over there. Um, okay, so next I need to me, clean up like around the eye. So I will use a little bit of Marcella water. I actually also use this to clean my um, false lashes. I soak them in it because it's gentle on them, it doesn't ruin them. I soak it in it depending on how like much crap is in my lashes. Um, I'll soak them for a couple of days or I soak them overnight and honest to God makes cleaning them so much easier and it helps lengthen the life of them. I actually, yeah, for reference, I have some currently soaking, yeah, <laughs> because, um, yeah, I went a bit crazy um, with uh, like <laughs> eyeshadow and like really nice colourful looks a little while ago and I was wearing false lashes all the time. Oh, also my Nana, my beautiful Nana turned 90, which is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, my granddad passed away. Um... Yeah, it was a pretty rough time. It's probably why I've been a bit MIA on here. Um, it was pretty rough, rough watching him um, just slowly, you know, get worse and worse. And then he had a massive heart attack and he died. Um, it was probably the best thing for him that he didn't really feel much and it was quick and done and like over with because no one would want anyone to suffer because, you know, it's just an awful thing. Like... I'm going to stop talking about it because I'll cry. Um, I loved my granddad. He was such a beautiful man. Anyway. Back to makeup. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I need to prime my skin. Goodness. Hang on. I'm going to be closer to yours. <laughs> so, at the moment, I'm just using this. It's the LA Pro Prep. So, HD Moisture. Nourishing, nourishing uh, face primer. So, 
I just put some under my eyes because it's most important because as you can see I got these babies from aging and also being tired all the time um, and also work life so getting into the busy season um, at work we've had containers come in with stock um, yeah, you know, we're about to hit the warmer weather once this freaky, weird, like, rain goes away. It's just insane. Um, it's been like, we had like a beautiful 36 degree day. It was like stunning. And that was the day of my sister's baby shower. It was actually quite warm, but like, it was just like insane. Like I had, by the time I got home, which was like five, 5.30 in the afternoon, um, it was still that warm. I came inside and put my air conditioner on. Like seriously, in the middle of spring, it's our spring here. It's insane. And now it's like 18 and raining. But anyway, I'm supposed to go back up to like 23 by Sunday and then slowly climb, climb its way to the top. Uh, anyway, I'm all primed. Now. And you all know I love my NYX cosmetics, so can't stop, won't stop. In. Look, go closer. Go closer. Fair. Okay, so some of this I can actually do like right to you guys. I like to definitely put it under my eyes because they are. Generally the worst. My bags are Prada. My skin's been a bit funny. I have a little bit of like scarring from um they weren't pimples, it was weird. Um they were just like sores that came up. It was very weird. Anyway. <laughs> I have like so many of these, they're great. They're like so great. Now, I always use a damp sponge with like any sort of makeup. So um, instead of using just like water, I like to actually use um, makeup finishing spray. So for the wedding and like all that of my sponges, I always use it. So um, the Astralis brand actually make a really good spritzer. Um, so it's a matte finish, so it actually helps like when I'm putting on like my makeup when I dampen the sponge, it helps like keep it in place and not glowy. Sometimes I like glowy and I'll use a different one, but that's like my go-to one because also with, I think it's only like $16. So it's, and it's going to last like forever, so which is good. But I have my favourite like setting setting sprays that I use. Um, so my favourite is actually, I think behind me, yeah, there, because I use it all the time. It's my Mecca Max one. I love it. It's my favourite. And then I'd probably say my second one would be probably this one. <laughs> probably the Glam Glow. Mostly because it smells really pretty. Like, I can't even de begin to describe. It's, like, almost fruity. It doesn't actually say. But it smells, like, really pretty, so. And don't judge. But sometimes when I need it to stay, like, all day, all day, once I put a finishing powder on and I've put my um, setting spray on, I spray my face with hairspray. That one there, that giant one there favorite hairspray ever but if I spray my face with hairspray doesn't move ever it can block your pores a little bit so you know not saying go do it but with caution um I'm pretty lucky with my skin it doesn't really react or anything and I've been doing it since like forever um okay so all primed now I was gonna use 
my normal foundation, which I'm really loving. Oh, I'll show you. So, and I use it on all my clients. Um, it's the National Academy of Beauty, um, their foundation, the Dazzling Miracle. So, um, it is a full coverage foundation. It is just, and it's so good on everybody's skin. Um, it's just, it's an amazing foundation for clients and stuff and for like a really, really, really good full coverage foundation. But recently I got in some of the Morphe foundation, the Fluidity full coverage foundation. So I got a few different shades um, to like try out and stuff. So maybe I'll try it with you guys. I don't know what shade I am. But I got a whole bunch, so I'm going to mix and match. Ooh. I mean, they're cute little bottles. Oh, get off. Cute. This one looks quite dark, actually. Wow, this is hella dark. Way too dark. Okay, so I'm not that colour. I am not the F230. <laughs> I may have to mix a couple of colours here, people. That's okay. Let me try this one. The F210. Come out, come out. This also looks really dark. I do have a little hack though for lightening without using like a lightener. Um, show this other face. Ooh, this one might be the winner. Oh, hello there. Yep, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> okay, um, usually I use um, my little palette to put it on, but I think I'm gonna use the back of my hand with this one. I actually don't know how far this goes, so, whoopsies. You'll see with me for the first time ever. Um, no. Bear with me. I really want like, I don't want that one. <laughs> I'm so picky at the moment when it comes to everything. I'm gonna try this one. Mm, we'll see. I don't like this sponge. I'll have to pause you so I can go find where I've put my packet of sponges. Oh, actually, we'll use my trusty pink one. It needs a wash. Just get whatever's in there, okay. I'm such a fool. <laughs> okay. I've never used this before here, people. So I don't know what the coverage is like. Wow. Goodness. It's going really far, actually. Hmm. It's not bad, actually, for like... A little bit. It's not bad. I didn't get that bit off. That's hilarious. That's okay. Anyway, so while I'm beating the hell out of my face, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think what's been going on. Hmm. Hmm. I like this kind of, I think. Maybe. I think I like it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see once I'm done. <laughs> um, so anyway. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Mm. Like, I know that my sister um, has picked a name for Bob. I don't know it. It's going to be a surprise. Woo! Um, sorry. Um, that's cool. Like, awesome. Like, I think she sold a couple of people, but I am happy not knowing. Um, like, surprises are cool. I like surprises. Um, hang on two seconds. I just don't want to... No. <laughs> I bring up my eyeshadow. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I was the other day thinking of, like, all these different names of, like, what I like and what I think is cute. And it's funny because everybody's taste is different in, um, like, baby names and stuff. You know, like, you may love something. Um, and then someone else may turn on and go, hmm, 
I'm not a fan. And that's okay because we're all individual. And, you know, like, we need to still be individuals. <laughs> so, anyway, I was thinking about different names that I liked, um, like, for boys and for girls. Um, and for girls, um, I really like Penelope. I've always really liked Penelope. Um, from when I was really little, um, I really loved the name Isabella. Like, loved it. And then I told a girl that I used to work with back in the day, like way, way back in the day, I told her what my favourite names were. Because at that point in time, me and my you know, ex um, were trying for a baby. I have no kids, we're not tied to each other, thank god. Um, anyway, so um, we were busy, you know, trying for kids and I desperately, desperately wanted a girl. Um, and I, you know, had said to her that I really loved, ah, the name Isabella. Coverage isn't bad actually. It's not bad at all. Okay, anyway, getting back to my story. So. Um, yeah, so I made the mistake of telling her that I really liked the name Isabella and she found out at 20 weeks that she was pregnant. I'm not sure how she didn't know she wasn't pregnant, but anyway, so she found out at 20 weeks that she was pregnant. That was cool. Everyone was so stoked. Even I was like so excited for her. Like I really was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. Um, that was cool. She had Bob. She named her Isabel. I know it's not the same, but she named her Isabel. Like, you knew that I loved Isabella. Like, anyway, I didn't say anything. I let it go. Can you tell I'm not ragey? No, I'm kidding. Um, so anyway, uh, just setting it with a little bit of powder. This one's just by... <gasps> oh, goodness! <laughs> Scared the world out of me then. Um, this one's by Maybelline. It is Matte Maker in Classic Ivory. Anyway, um, so yeah, so she had a beautiful little girl named Isabella. Uh, Isabel, sorry. Um, she went on to have like, um, I think like five more kids or some shit. Well, she's got like five kids. Um, unfortunately, she had, um, she fell pregnant again. And very, very early on in the pregnancy. Um... Tragically, her partner was killed. Um, person that lived, didn't live across the road, but was like half dating the girl that lived across the road. Um, he found out that her partner at the time had, um, I think it was morphine? Morphine, I think, because he broke his back um, in a workplace accident. And he didn't really want to rely on pills and drugs and all that. And props to him, you know, like, he had to, like, learn how to walk and shit again after he broke his back. It was pretty terrible. Anyway, so he had a, he was still off on workers' comp. And he was playing his guitar out the back. She'd gone to drop the little one off because it was the, I think that's all he had to do. It was her anniversary or something. I think it was her anniversary. And they were going out. As she's come walking back, um, she's noticed that there's two blokes in the front lawn and her partner's at the front telling them, you know, to get off his property. Basically, they broke in. They were looking for the drugs. They wanted them. They were, he confronted them because he hurt them. Um, they were like, you know, give us morphine, all this kind of stuff. He's like, no, get out of my house. Anyway, he was on the front lawn. One of them took off. The other one stabbed him. I think it was something like five times in the front and three times in the back. He stabbed him to death over drugs. This guy wanted them so bad. He took someone else's life because of it. And she's run up and she got pushed to the ground and she cracked her head open. And then her partner died in her arms. Like... It's so freaking tragic. And I remember getting the phone call from the police station saying, can you come and sit with her? 
as she wanted me there and I walked in and was allowed to touch her because forensics hadn't been and she was just sitting there just just sitting there and I'm like babe are you okay and she's like Stephen died and I'm like are you okay and she's like yeah like she was in complete shock it was just insane and um anyway they um I ended up convincing her to go to the hospital afterwards just to check on Barb and, you know, on her head and all that. And thankfully, both were fine. You know, we had the funeral and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, she had a beautiful baby boy. And she named him Stephen after his father, which was really beautiful. Um, she met another guy years later. And they had a couple more kids. I actually don't really... I haven't spoken to her in years. Um, big falling out with my ex and stuff and people chose sides. But, you know, I always forever wish happiness for people, you know. Um, anyway, this, um, I'm an F210 in matte. It's actually, I actually don't mind the coverage. It's pretty good, actually. I like it. It's not bad. Getting back to <laughs> makeup, goodness. I kind of went off track there a bit, didn't I? Um, okay, so. I think I'll do my eyebrows. Hmm. This is going to be like one long ass video because I'm <laughs> too busy talking. Okay, I think I will actually do them full on for you. So, again, Morphe. This is their brow cream in Latte. So when you do your eyebrows, you should always match it to the darkest part of your roots. So, I'm actually quite dark. Anyway. Um, da, da, da. I'll actually do them. Rock and roll. Okay, so when I do my eyebrows, like what I like to do is use, it's actually an eyeliner pencil, but because as you can see, it's quite narrow, um, it's actually easier to use. Um, and you get like crisper lines than what you would with, I'll show you the difference because, okay, so see how this is like quite fine point. This is a brow brush. See how thick that is? I don't like using it. It's like, it's too thick. Like, it's too thick of a brush. If you're filling in, yeah, it's fine. But anyway. So, I like to go from the art. Like, go up. Up the arch. Down the hill. Up the arch and down the hill. <laughs> You're nice and close to me. Hello. Anyway, nice and close again. Hello. Whoa. Hmm. This is really weird doing it to a camera. Anyway, I'm going to go quickly do them and then I'll come back. But basically, you get the gist of it. <laughs> I'll be back. Hang on. I'm back. I'm back. They're really, really, really bold. Be bold. Be brave. <laughs> now I'm going to fix them up a little bit. Okay. So as you can see, I've completely filled them in. Given everything more definition, etc, etc. Just going to push my brows a little bit. Okay. Now, to lighten this up a little bit, to make it less crazy, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper, and this is in light medium. So this helps make it less crazy. Makes it a little less crazy. I'll show you. Well, I feel it's a little less crazy anyway. <laughs> this lighting. Hey, it's not bad. The lighting's not terrible. Um, but you probably can't see it as well. But anyway, it's just going to help lighten the whole look of the eyebrow. Plus, you can actually give yourself, like, way more eyebrows if you do it this way. And then, like, draw them on, fill them in. Plus, this helps, like... It actually makes me look like I have like actual eyebrows as well. 
Okay, so that's pretty good. It's actually not bad. I like it. It's like in your face. <laughs> okay, now I'm just getting to you. Here we go. Like the end of this. This helps just fix up the little bits, like where I've may have smudged it. So this is the end of a um, brow artist shaper. So it's got um, color on the end, and then you put this on on the end, which helps like fix up all like the little tiny bits, like that little bit that I had under there, and then we'll just, oops. Um, so yeah, just trying to think, like, is there anything else going on in my life? Um, I'm telling you stories, I'm telling you all my life stories. Okay, so I'll tell you about my ex. Um, his name was John. We were together for five years. Um, we were engaged, set to be married, all that kind of fun stuff, you know. Um, but unfortunately... He got a job offer and I told him to take it. Um, I said, take it. You, it was basically, he would be moving to Melbourne um, and working in the Adidas store in Melbourne. Um, they wanted him to go over and manage the warehouse over there. And it was a really good opportunity. And I said to him, go, you go, start. I'll like, you know, finish up here, pack up here, that kind of stuff and I'll follow you like in a few weeks. I'm like, just, you know, take the job. I'm like, it's, you know, you've always wanted, you know, to be, you know, that. and I'm like, I'm, you know, all open to moving. Anyway, for some reason, he thought I was holding him back in life. And one night um, after we'd been out for dinner for my mum's birthday, he decided that he wanted to take a break. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Um, thank you. And anyway, we split up and it was a really, really horrible breakup. Like, really horrible. <sighs> but you know, you live and you learn. Okay, so I'm going to add eyeliner. So I'm really enjoying the Quick Flick. Um, Aussie chick, she made them. So basically, it's a stamp on the end. stamp on the end and then on the other end you've got the line apart so this is the left side left side so you get as close as to where you want it then you stamp <laughs> and then you use the other side and then you hope to god that you freaking bloody lined it up perfectly and you're gonna get it the same <laughs> I think I'm going to get it the same. Bloody close. Okay, so I've stamped. And then you fill in. Now, I don't know. For some reason, I find this too bulky, like that end bit, which is fine. Um, So I have my other one here. you got to store them the right way so the stamp doesn't matter. So I also... So this is by L'Oreal. This is the Flash Cat Eye by Superliner. So I like this one because it's a finer point and it's a smaller thing to work with. So it's like way easier. So let me go fill them in. Be back in two seconds. Okay. All done. All filled in. I just got to fix that a little bit where I buggered it and I like got it on myself. Um, I like my hands shake. Done. Okay. So like, Cool tip. When you're applying eyeliner, scrunchy toes stops you shaking as much. As much. But you may shake a little bit. <laughs> okay, so mascara. So I like to use two mascaras when I'm putting them on. Um, I just feel it, it's darker and there's just more of it. So to begin with, I use this one by NYX. It's double stacked. So it actually comes with, I use it sometimes 
comes with this, which is like little fibers that you so see. You apply mascara, you put the little fibers on, and then you apply more, makes them thicker. But I actually, um, I like to use this and then use another mascara over the top, which has got like a finer brush, just like you know, brush out clumps or whatever. Um, so what was I gonna say? I don't know. My concentration span is like terrible. <laughs> um, I'm running a competition on my um, Facebook page. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hang on two sex. Sorry, my phone was chucking a sad telling me that I've like recorded too much. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Seriously, I, I keep forgetting. Oh, that's right. So I'm announcing the winner on my um, Facebook page and Instagram page of the winner of, the com of my competition. So excited. So um, they win like this cool um, beauty box with like a whole bunch of stuff in it. And then a $250 voucher to use towards any of my services. So if they want me to order in some makeup or if they want me to do their makeup for an event or anything. Um, um, they can use it on anything and it is valid until, you know, whenever. So if they want to use it for like two services, go for it. Um, if they've got like two different events that they know they're going to need makeup for, um, then yeah. So yeah, it's been fun. Like I've had a few clients, I've, been, I've done makeup a couple of times. Um, it's just really hard trying to... Um, work around my like actual work roster so yeah there we go <laughs> hi <laughs> so yeah um now for the other one yeah so anyway um I think I think I've got a couple of people booked in near Christmas just for like um Christmas parties and stuff so yeah that'll be cool hopefully I can work around it with my schedule because it looks like I'm gonna have to work like extra days over Christmas which is just exhausting <laughs> I've been doing this job for seven years now um this is actually my eighth Christmas so, yeah, um, yeah, it's been pretty crazy, um, but it should be, you know, it should be a good, good end to the year, you know, considering it's just been so crazy, like, life has just been nuts with everything that's happened this year, I just think, what is going on? But, yeah. So I will show you in a sec what I've done and what I have to fix because uh, just today I just can't get it together and I've gone and gotten mascara freaking everywhere but that's okay I'll show you I'll show you what you can do to fix that issue just needed to look closer then anyway so uh, they kind of look the same don't they <laughs> But I do my lower lash line too. Does anyone do this when they're putting their bottom mascara on? <laughs> Just me? Okay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so yeah. So as you can see, I've made a little bit of a boo-boo, but that's okay. I'll show you how to fix it. Just gotta let it like dry a little bit. So, lashes are done. Then we need to move on to the bronzer. Bronzer. Okay, so. Back to bronze by L'Oreal. It's like my go-to, I do enjoy it. So I use a tapered powder brush. Hold on. So you can see. So you want to go just above the eye and come down a little bit. Sorry, ear, above the ear, above the ear, and then come down in like a slight, I like a slide curve. It just gives the sh uh, face a bit more shape. 
Especially if you get like a chunky face like mine. Oh, hey, you can see this one hurt me. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, just gives the face a little bit more shape. And then I also like to do down my nose. Down my nose and a little bit this one here. Okay. Sometimes I do around here, but my hair's still a bit damp, so I won't do it. Then we move on to oops, blush. So I got this one recently. Um, sorry, and I'm oops, you can watch. It's pretty by Flora. Flora. Anyway, it's blush. It's cute. It's got two different tones, which I'll show you. Um, what am I using on that? So, my unicorn brush. So, I like to just swirl around to get both colours and then just mm, ever so lightly blend in towards your bronzer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't think I'm going to do highlighter today just because I'm digging like the more like bam in the eye kind of thing, the eye and the eyebrows. Make them the point. <laughs> Actually, what I will do is because I just, I love it, I'm going to use a little brush. This is my highlight palette by NYX. Like, I'm just going to use some of this one here, and I'm just going to go down my nose a little bit, just to give it a little bit of highlight. See? Bam! Look at that, girl! And a little bit down here, and a little bit there. I like it. Okay. So here. That's good. Okay, now let me show you. Um, so just get like a little applicator, anything you have. And once it's dry, hope that focus was on me. You can just go in and get rid of them. Get rid of all those little mistakes. But you just gotta wait for it to dry. So you can do it. I didn't get any on that side, but I got it. some on that side. Okay, so yeah, you just wait for them to dry, and then you just come in with an applicator, and you take them off. Same front and underneath. Just go like that. And that just cleans up the lines a bit better. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like it. That worked out well. Okay, so... Set it. Today I'm going to use this one. Because that's cute. And I'm going to do a lip hang on. I wish you could smell this, it's so nice. I'm all setting, so I think I'll do like a nude lip. I'm digging a nude lip lately. So this is from Sephora. This is Lip Stories number six. Sometimes I do um, lip liner, but I think today I'm going to not. I'm just going to let the lipstick do its job. Yeah, I think that works. It just takes away the... Takes away from like the eyes and stuff. I wonder if I change the lighting. Hang on. Change the colour. <sighs> Ooh, hey yo, that changes the look again, doesn't it? <laughs> That's fun. Whoa, yellow light. That looks weird. We'll get back to this one. Okay, so I might go do my hair and then come back and show you the final look. But it'll probably be at the beginning of this video. So. <laughs> anyway, have a really good Friday. Enjoy life and I'll see you next time.